This is the planet Earth. Lovely, isn't it? I hope it's right here up. It's our home. Unless you don't pay tax, in which case you're a guest and you should be ashamed. It doesn't look much like it does on the maps, does it? You notice how peaceful it looks. That's because it's a photo taken from... Uh, no, it doesn't give you the address. Let's just say space. Or it could just be a very good painting. Anyway, it's the only Earth we've got. So we've got to protect it. From what? Well, from the new globular phenomenon that I've discovered and that I call spherical heating, which is different from all the other phenomena. What exactly is spherical heating? Well, I'll tell you that at the end of the film. Okay, can you have um, the theme music now, please? Well, that was nice. Can we have my theme music now, please, Nigel? Hello, I'm the brilliant Dr. Dennis Johnson. The names Dennis and Johnson were given to me by my parents. But it's the doctor part that I'm particularly proud of, which, uh, which was also given to me by my parents. And just like you, I used to be ignorant, aloof, rude and confused, mostly about spherical heating. Let's just stop for a moment. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dr. Dennis Johnson, you're an above average, extremely busy medical doctor that I greatly admire. How do you know so much about these environmental issues? It's a good question, although I would have phrased it slightly differently myself. <laughs> you see, when you specialise in so many different areas of the medical world as I do, you tend to get a little bit bored. Well, that's why I've decided to share, shine my, shine my impressive stethoscope on the world of spherical heating and how it affects some of the more important planets. As a matter of fact, I've, I've always been interested in the planet Earth ever since I read about it in the late 1990s. More precisely, what we as humans and, and women can do to keep it safe for our children and their cars and their children's cars. Even though my son Jacinta says he has no intention of reproducing. That's my boy. Let's not be afraid though. All through this documentary I'm going to be using what I call layman's terms, even though I don't actually get on with that particular class of person, or will be using them. Turn the page, Nigel, thank you. In fact, by the end of this nine-hour documentary compressed into two hours, even the most unnecessary of you will be an expert on the subject of spherical heating. Now, I bet that will impress your friends and your neighbours, as long as your friends and neighbours are doctors. Like mine used to be. Okay, let's get down to it. Let's have some action. And just like you, when I hear the word action, I think slideshow. Now, I'm warning you, Nigel, if I see one more of your holiday photos, I'm going to hit the roof. Okay. See this. This is a polar bear having a great old time. Did you know polar bears can swim a hundred miles a day? Did you know they're also pretty good drivers? Remember this news report from 1994? 
see this this is a volcano these things are hot no wonder people used to get sacrificed in them it's the perfect crime if you see a volcano coming down the street stop whatever you're doing and make a run for it this particular volcano is in Clapham next see this river it's quite nice isn't it the correct answer to that question is yes yes in all my months of research into spherical heating I've never come across a bad river however I did see a waterfall that made me quite angry and I don't really want to talk about that so next this is a waterfall next